Hi, I'm Ed Evans, head brewer for Cold Town Brewery in Edinburgh City Centre. Today we're at our production brewery located in Can Mills area. We've been brewing here since 2018 and we opened our microbrewery in Cold Town House in 2019. We took inspiration for our name from the views around the brewery. You can see up to Carlton Hill. The name Carlton comes from Old Scots Cald Toon. That gave us the name Cold Town for our beer. Hi, my name's Luke. I work as a brewer for Cold Town Beer. I've been working here for about three years now and I pretty much just make the beer and help run a few ambassador errands every now and then. So this is our version of a lager. It's kind of a lager Pilsner cross, so you get those really crisp, dry, refreshing flavors that you get from a lager, but also a little bit of the malty backbone that's fairly typical of a Pilsner. Kind of reminds you of drinking in your garden, in a field, maybe at summertime and you're having a couple of tins with your friends. Um, that's really what this lager screams to me. So this is our New England IPA. We like to refer to this as the juicy one, um, largely because it's quite sweet in comparison to a lot of IPAs, but largely because it's really hazy. It's got dynamic, bold, tropical fruit flavors, but also the body of it is a little bit, little bit bigger, a little bit fuller than a lager. So this is really a beer that's gonna punch you in the mouth as far as dynamic flavors go. Uh, I'm quite proud of this one. This is a peach summer ale. This kind of came about as a bit of an experiment when we worked down at the microbrewery, uh, the venue on the grass market, Cold Town House. So we made a golden ale, um, flavoured it with uh, natural peach flavours uh, on top of that. It has this really nice golden hue character, um, kind of like the lager you want to be drinking this in summertime, but this is definitely something a bit more adventurous, a bit fruitier. This is our Porn Star Martini ale. If you've gone out for a drink anywhere across the United Kingdom, so you've probably had a Porn Star Martini. They're pretty ubiquitous with the UK drinking scene at this point. It's got a little bit of lactose added into it, so you're gonna have that residual sweetness. It's got oat, it's got wheat malt, it's gonna have a bit of a thicker body. It's gonna have additions of passion fruit, it's gonna have additions of vanilla. It's gonna smell like a cocktail in a can, but it's gonna taste a little bit more like a beer. Uh, this is a raspberry Berliner Weiss, and this beer is bright pink. Um, the reason why is because it's got raspberries in it. This is our sour beer that we do on our range. They're like, Luke, well, how can it be sweeter? It's an acidic beer. And I'd be like, yes, customer, you are right. That is because lactic acid is added and it takes it down to around about 3.6 pH. So you get a lot of that like, you know, tart puckering, puckering flavor, um, which is really nice. Um, and it really goes well with raspberries. You'll find it a lot of time. You get like raspberry cheesecakes, a lot of like sour flavors. So this is our chocolate cake stout. A little bit like the Porn Star, it's got lactose added into it. So you're gonna get residual sweetness. It's gonna have a little bit of a thicker, silkier body to it. Um, but obviously this is this is a stout. This is gonna be darker, it's gonna be heavier. We make this with chocolate malt, so you're gonna have those really solid dark chocolate notes. You're going to have that backbone malty flavor. It kind of just tastes like chocolate icing and chocolate cake, um, but more alcoholic, so a bit more fun. It's creamy, it's sweet, it's delicious, it's chocolatey. Uh, so this is our Darjeeling table beer. It's actually better drunk from a can, not a cup. For those of you that don't know, a table beer is a beer that you would drink at a dinner table typically, but it would be lower in ABV, something that you would have with your meals. It was drunk quite a lot in the hundreds of years past before this. It's something that's meant to be quite light. It's meant to be quite floral, very fruity. Um, you're meant to be pairing this with your Sunday lunch, uh, dainty tea garden uh, sandwiches. This is the hot tub wheat ale. In a wheat ale, you get really lovely, soft, zesty uh, body notes to it. Uh, a beer that's kind of a little bit creamy because of the wheat malt, but not super heavy. So you kind of get the best of both worlds, something that's got a lot of hop character to it, but it's also got like a really nice zesty body of a typical wheat beer. This is not just wheat ale. This is hopped up wheat ale. This is our new Chinook Smash Ale. Um, so a smash beer is a single malt and single hop. In this scenario, we've gone for a particular combination that we really enjoy. Um, Maris Otter Malt is pretty well known as being very like exceptional as far as ales go. And Chinook is a wonderful hop that gives you really lovely zesty fruit piney notes. Something that's um, pretty robust, pretty dynamic. Uh, 2020. Um, this is our version of a fest beer. It's uh, darker, it's got dark Munich German malt in there. Uh, it's a little bit higher in ABV. It's got uh, a heavier, more dynamic, malty backbone to it. And uh, it's just quite fun. And this is exactly how we feel about 2020.